Jenny! What? It's clinic day! I know! Uh. All right, all my nabs are dirty, so I'm gonna use my tasting arrow chamber, I don't know, Altera device, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna use this nab for all my nabs um, because it actually goes a lot faster. My clinic said it's really not a big deal if you do, as long as you wash it really good afterwards. So I'm gonna do albuterol, hypertonic, um, I'm gonna do atrovent, and I have a couple of days left of casein, so I'm gonna do casein. And my airway clearance, I'm going to use the Cornet Far um, right here. What was I going to do next, Jenny? Wash my sinuses out. Forgot. Final step is to brush my teeth and I'm ready to go. All right guys, my morning routine today, um, I woke up, I felt pretty decent. Yesterday I felt wonderful, I have no clue what I did differently. Um, but there's been a couple days like this month that I just have been waking up feeling great. And I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing like the night before or if I'm just sleeping better or what it is. If there's like something I'm taking the night before because I've been sick off and on so I've been taking like Alka-Seltzer. Um, anyway, I try to figure out what it is. But today I felt decent and I start off with eating because I normally don't start off eating because I always feel really congested. And I feel like if I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna use treatments, I'm gonna throw it all up. But today, I was like, you know what? Instead of going to clinic on a full stomach and trying to do PFTs, what if I ate first and then did treatments and then maybe, you know, digest a little bit? So I ate and I eat like a kid. I ate 10 chicken nuggets um, and with sour cream, of course. I like sour cream, I don't like ranch or any of that stuff. And then I had my albuterol, I did hypertonic. Um, hypertonic saline. I did my airway clearance with the cornet and on that I do three uh, three sets of like 10 to 12 blows or if I just start coughing a lot before I get to 10 to 12 I'll just say that's a set. Um, and after that I went ahead and did atrovent because atrovent usually is a drying agent or whatever so I figured it might you know clear the mucus up a little bit and that way make my airways more open and easier to flow through because if you guys ever do pfts and like you're like sucking in to blow and then you like, like get caught up you know and just hit some phlegm and crap it's gross anyway uh so i did atrophy and see if that helped any and then i did taste it and i finally finished it took about 45 minutes or so because I did that with the Altera, um, the, the case in there that the Altera comes with. So I did it with that and they go really fast in that. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, you just have to make sure you wash it really well after you do stuff like that in that nib. Um, yeah, so we're on the way to PFTs. My last one was 44 and that was the best it's been in five years. So I'm hoping that I hit 44, if not higher. I'm really hoping I get 48. That'd be amazing. Um, but I kind of got the sniffles, and I washed my sinuses out too, just in case that would help me any get some flow going through the nostrils. But uh, but yeah. So we'll see how PFTs are at. Like I said, they have two machines. I'm hoping I get the good one today, but you never really know. Alright guys, just got the clinic. Um, I don't think we can record too much in here, so um, I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off now. Battery's about to die anyway. But wish me luck on PFTs. Here we go. You ready? Let's stop these things!
All right, so back from clinic and my PFTs. Of course, I got the sucky machine like I thought I might. Um, they turned out to be 41.8% and I was 44 last time on the other machine. Um, my nurse coordinator assured me that I was right at, if not better than last time with the Watch 41. Um, you know, they said, don't worry about it. It definitely is the other machine. Everyone's been blowing lower on that machine, of course. Anyway, so that happened. Did some salt chloride testing, as you guys saw in the pictures. And uh, did the EKG and stuff. Everything's going good, normal. Did blood work. I hate blood work. Uh, but yeah, I got pictures of that, too. I think I flashed on the screen. So now, me and Jenny are just going to spend the rest of our day going to vitamin shop right now, pick up some uh, protein bars for her, pick up some protein drinks for me, and then we're gonna go out to eat and maybe go to the gym later. We definitely need a nap though. But uh, whenever I have stuff to do the, the next day, like I never sleep good, so last night I got like six hours sleep. Um, I usually like to have like anywhere from eight to 10 hours if I can. But uh, anyway, so that's our trip. I'll try to film the rest of the day and show you guys what we do and what we eat. All right, guys, here we go. All right, after an hour of traffic, we're finally at Vitamin Shop. Gonna get our protein and uh, protein bars, protein drinks. Someone's not very excited. I hate traffic. Traffic sucks. This flavor, Alpine Punch. And what is this blue raspberry? Jenny gets these whole freaking boxes of protein bars. It's mix and match day, so I mix and matched. Freaking excited. It is so fun and fiber filled. Advertisement right there. Alright, guys, I'm um, home I and I napped. Um, someone should have taken a nap, but they didn't because they tend to be grumpy when they don't nap. What? But, uh, but we're gonna go get some dinner right now at Burger 21. Can't wait to show you guys these burgers. They're so freaking big and just juicy burgers. Like, high price though. Just to let you guys know if you ever see a Burger 21. They're like, probably for me and Jenny both, it's like 21, 25 bucks. And it kinda has like a steak and shake feel. So you wouldn't think it's that expensive. But, um, but yeah, they got a lot of food, but like, just really good quality stuff. Anyway, I will uh, show you guys the burgers here when we get in there. Here's the menu. What do I get? Oh, the Oh My God Burger. Oh. I get the Oh My God Burger, double stack burger, all that crap. I just get the bacon, cheese, and burger though. I don't get all the lettuce, red onions, tomatoes. Tell me, you. No. I look like Just be cool. You be cool. Just be cool. You be cool. Get down a little. Sorry. See? Looks like you've been kind of fan for three hours. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. This is a good looking hair. No. It's feathered. I don't like it. Everyone loves feathered hair. No, they don't. That is back in the 70s. No, it wasn't. That was perms. No. You don't even know what you're saying. Men do not get perms. What? I, I'm an old soul. They feathered their hair. A psychic told me I'm an old soul. I'm an earth walker. Just spit on your hand and tone it down. I'm not going to do like you do. Jenny walks around, spits on her hands, just like... And it looks much better than yours. No, it doesn't. <laughs> this is Jenny's uh, I, hand spit hair. Not today. I didn't do that. Why not? I want that sweet potato fries. Sweet potatoes. Give me them fries. Oh, I want to get this burger. Oh my gosh, this is us. Look at this bad boy. You gotta turn around for him to see. Oh, bacon. Double stack bacon and cheese with fries. I think it's like a thousand and fifty-eight calories. Last time I looked at it. 
thousand fifty eight. It's on my it's on my Instagram. We we can't even look at it. We're looking at your fate or your feathered hair so much. Yeah, it looks good, right? Oh, in case you girls want to know what I got. I got the shroom burger and sweet potato fries. They have the best sweet potato fries out of anywhere I've ever tasted. Burger 21. Time to pig out. All right, guys. Oh, we're finally back home for the day. As I said before, uh, on clinic day, I hate clinic day. You know, I have that strict regimen and everything, and blowing PFTs, getting poked and prodded with needles, and doing the salt testing and stuff like that today. Um, I go ahead and let myself pig out on clinic day. So as you guys know, I had the what did I have for breakfast. I had chicken nuggets for breakfast. Uh, the chicken nuggets I eat are. Um, Tyson, they look like this. And they are delicious. But um, yeah, I had about 10 of those with sour cream. Um, lunch, me and Jenny went to. What did we have for lunch, Jen Jen? That was lunch? Yeah, that was hungry. So, lunch, uh, we came home with that. Then, we lunch, we had Burger 21. I showed you that. And then, on the way home, we decided to get more food. Jenny's gonna go to work for the next like three nights. And I really don't mind leftovers. I hate eating and I hate cooking food even more. So uh, I always get leftovers whenever she goes to work. So I have something to warm up. So check this out. I got Grimaldi's large pizza. It's a white pizza with bacon. Looks delicious. Yeah, so I will have that all weekend and probably a little bit tonight while she goes to work. And then, on top of that, um, I got Jenny a Mahi Mahi, which is a uh, fish, you guys didn't know. But um, she likes the Mahi Mahi. So stopped by BJ's Brew House and got that. And then for me, uh, just to snack on, I also got, oh, oh. I also got these potato skins. Um, they have some delicious potato skins. I get them with sour cream. So, that's it. So today, I had the nuggets, had the big juicy burger, um, I got the white pizza here, I got the potato skins. I'll probably go to the gym and I'll have, uh, I'll have my protein shake afterwards. And if you guys remember in my, in my video about uh, my supplement haul, I drink the Serious Mass Protein. I just dropped Jenny's. But I drink the Serious Mass Protein with uh, 16 ounces of 2% milk um, because I'm always over on my fats anyway, so I use 2% milk. And then after that, I'll probably have a little bit of the pizza and then go to bed and start the day all over again tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, so in the meantime, we're going to work on the computer, hang out for a little bit, and then uh, hit the gym. Hey guys, we're finally home from the gym. Um, just to let you know, it's 5.05 in the morning. Let's see if I can get a shot of that clock. 5.05 in the morning. Um, Jenny has to work tomorrow, so we're trying to stay up as late as possible tonight because she works the night shift, so that way tomorrow she'll be awake for work. Anyway, uh, home from the gym, exhausted, gonna have a protein shake. Um, I already showed you what protein I drink. It's like 1,200 calories. And then I will use my treatments, uh, make sure my lungs are a little bit clearer, and then go ahead and go to bed, you know, get on oxygen and all that crap so my muscles can recover, and hopefully I can grow, fingers crossed. The, uh, the treatments I'll be on, or the treatments I'm going to use tonight are going to be albuterol, uh, inhaled, um, probably do Atrovent just because I just worked out and I'm about to have the big um, milkshake. So I feel like the milk products always increase my mucus. So hopefully the attribute will dry that up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have my DNA for Polenzyme. And then uh, Kasten, I only have a couple days left because it is the new month. And, um, and then I'll be done. So Albuterol, Atrovent, Airway Clearance of course, um, Polenzyme and Kasten. And that'll be it. My auctions, at, um, I put my auction about two and a half, two liters, depending on how I'm feeling, what my auction is before bed. Um, someone was asking me about that recently, and I don't really have a checker at night, but like I really feel like some nights I don't need it and I could get off of it. 
but I'm always nervous now that I've had it for like over a couple of years, you know, I've been using it, so I'm kind of nervous. I really want to get a oxy checker or something to where I could like monitor throughout the night and see if I really do need it or still or not. Um, some nights I'm really worn out and luckily tonight I'm not that bad after working out, but like leg day wears the crap out of me. So I'm sure I probably need it on that day. But uh, yeah, so normally it's about two, two and a half, and that's it. Hopefully sometime in the next year or so, maybe I can get off of it. Maybe, if I do, I'll let you know. Workout was good tonight. Um, saw a lot of people at the gym that I haven't seen in a while because I was sick for two weeks, so talk forever. Uh, you know, people at the gym like love to just sit there and tell you about their lives. But um, that was kind of cool though. I like having people to talk to, especially there when I'm not so excited to work out. But anyway, um, work out was good. I always feel like my chest just doesn't grow. My shoulders are kind of lacking too, but um, triceps were good today. Chest is all right, but um, we'll see what happens. Growing takes time, so just gotta be patient. But uh, here's Ralph. Ralph, come here. Hug, come here, hug, hug. Good boy. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Good boy. Go get some ice. Go get some ice. Our dog loves ice. Jenny got him hooked on ice. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, you saw my meals. You saw we ate. I'm going to have a shake tonight because I just got home from working out and I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. So I probably won't eat an actual meal again. I'll just have my shake. Like I said, it's 1,200 calories, so it's a lot. It has like 50 grams of protein, um, 256 grams of carbs, I think, something around there. And Jenny will have her normal meal. She eats probably the same thing like before bed every night. Yep, off to bed. Probably gonna wake up like four o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow and start another day. See you guys. And of course guys, if you like my videos, make sure you like down below, uh, comment and subscribe please. Uh, comment below though if you use oxygen at night, especially if you work out. If you work out and you have CF, do you use more oxygen after you work out at night or is it just stay the same? But um, thanks for watching. Subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.